Katya Andriva, a longtime resident of Granite Falls, shows us her unique style of painting at the Russian American Museum in Minneapolis. I came to America exactly 20 years ago, in 1994, and it was June. And so I came, I, I guess I tried to be an artist as I want to, as I, uh, and I paint the same things what I used to paint back in Russia. People, <laughs> the flowers, the eggs, and eggs with Russian stories, uh, different seasons, and it was quite popular. It was surprisingly interesting for American and for Minnesotans. Yes, so it was. Great start for me, I guess. <laughs> I came here to America and I guess illustration was become a big thing for me. And about 15 years ago I met uh, John Peterson and David Cashel. They offer to do the book with them. And it was my first book in 1999. We did a book called Meet Me in the Garden. They saw some of the of my art in the arts Edina Art Fair. I had the pleasure of meeting Katya in 1999, and it was during the Edina Art Fair. Now, I had been playing the good husband role of going all over the art fair with my wife, and then all at once I said, "Hey, let's walk over here." And then my wife and I saw the most exquisite art that day that we had seen. And then I had the pleasure of meeting Katya and buying several of her paintings. And over the years, had become an avid Katya Andreeva collector. So that's how that happened. We've done 30 books with Katya, with Katya's art. And uh, one of the favorites is Secrets of the Vine. But my, my favorites are the children's books. I mean, th those are the ones that I think there's, there's a, a vibrancy to the art. And I particularly like to see the expressions on my nieces and nephews when they're looking at the art. Makes my day. Since I met the publishers, it's kind of become clear that something very interesting for me to do illustrations for the book for the books, all different kinds, inspirational, florals, children's books. So right now, the literature and poetry inspired my, my art a lot, and it's something very interesting because I have my personal interpretation of the characters and using different techniques. It used to be only watercolors in the past, and now I'm using mixed media. I'm adding some pastels and pencils and special printing collages and all kinds of things. It's getting more fun. And I'm thinking I'm getting even, I'm bringing more people with my art to me, those who are admire you know, not just a beautiful picture, but also some story behind it. <laughs> and my personal view, so there's connection. <laughs> well, I think that there's a, a very strong, there's a, a vibrancy of emotion that comes through in the color that, uh, that really makes the art, for, for instance, with her children's work, there's just a, it makes you smile just to look at the art. So there's that strong emotional appeal to it, a feel-good emotion. That's what I like. Watercolor have a life itself. <laughs> and I guess um, the fact that I don't have to control it too much, kind of like I have a little conversation, because watercolor is an um, interesting technique. Depends on how much water and pigment of in your brush strokes you applied, the effect could be absolutely different. That's why I say I don't really plan exactly my images, what I'm gonna paint. They happened. 
um, sometimes I just sit in front of the white piece of paper and it could admire me by itself. You just have to be quiet and look at that and start mixing paint and and it's just all start to live and you you can you can see things happening you just have to I guess play the same game <laughs> You know, process of crea creativity, it's uh, for those who know how lifting it is. That's uh, probably the most exciting thing. I think we all know that little bit, right? In your job, the creativity, they come up with a story and how to put it together, right? So it's kind of for me the same thing, creation, you know. You, doing something what hmm, nobody done before, right? <laughs>